Hello, my name is Lilia and I trade options full-time and I provide one-on-one -on -one training upon request. My website is moneyandlilia.com. You can see all of my options trades at my blog and if you like this lesson, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell all your friends about my free lessons. Today's real date is July 24, 2014. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at a ratio put spread. This is an intermediate level lesson. So if you're new to options trading, I encourage you to take a look at some of my uh, beginning lessons in this series. So we're going to look at a real trade that I placed on June 24, 2014. This is on the Spiders ETF. And we're going to use a wonderful feature on Thinkorswim called On Demand. This allows us to go back in time and pretend that today is June 24, 2014. And the reason we're doing this is because I want to show you exactly what I was looking at at that time. So we're going to play some trades going back in time. So it's about 10-12 uh, a.m. Pacific time on June 24. The trade that we're going to look at is called a ratio put spread. This trade was done on June 24 and I bought to open 5 July 195 puts and I paid $1.54. At the same time I sold 10 July 194 puts at $1.23. I received a net credit of 92 cents. I did five contracts so the initial credit that I received was 92 cents times 5 times 100. The main idea behind a trade like this is I could make money in three directions. If the spiders goes up past 195 on expiration date, both of these options will expire and I will simply get to keep my 92 cents credit. If on the other hand the spiders goes down to 194 or below, I could make an extra one dollar in this debit spread right here. I've got five contracts so essentially I could make an extra five hundred dollars if the spiders goes down towards 194 by July expiration. If the spiders takes a dive by July expiration, I can sell to close five of the long options, buy back five of the short options, take my one dollar additional credit on the debit spread and I can roll the five remaining naked puts out to July and hopefully collect another credit. So let's see exactly what happened. So as you can see on June 24, 2014, the spiders started going down about uh, halfway through the day. And so I'm watching the put prices 
and trying to decide when to place my trade. As you can see here, the put prices are rising because the spiders are going down. So in order to put on a put spread, I need to change this from single to back ratio. And I'm going to buy to open the 95, 195 put, which is close to the money. And I'm going to sell to open the 194, which is one strike below. As you can see here, the bid for this spread is around 89 cents. The ask is 92 cents. The spiders are still going down. So I'm going to aim for about 92, 93 cents. So I'm going to click on sell. And the trade that I did was a buy to open five of the long puts. And I sold twice as many on the short puts. And obviously the reason behind it is I wanted to collect an extra credit on those five extra puts to help pay for my debit put spread. To open, to open. Okay, so this is where you need to proofread to make sure this is exactly what you're trying to do. Buy to open, five July 195 puts. Sell to open, 10 July 194 puts. Right now the mid is 90 cents. I'm going to aim for 92. Oh, it just moved to 92. So I'm going to lock in my 92 cents price like this. Limit price for the day and click on confirm and send. And so notice that my max profit is $960. That's the 92 cents credit times 500. So I like this price and so I'm going to click on send. And I go back to monitor and I can see my working order. 92 cents and it looks like it may execute pretty soon. There it is. It just filled at 92 cents. So as I mentioned earlier, today's real date is July 24, 2014. We're using this neat little thing in Thinkorswim to go back in time and pretend that today is July, uh, June 24. So I can show you exactly what I did on that day at this time, 10.19 a.m. Pacific time. So my trade filled and now this is what it looks like. Okay, and I received 92 cents. So. Now that my trade has filled, all I need to do is just look at it once a day and monitor this and see what happens. I have now jumped over to Expiration Friday, July 18. It is 6.34 a.m. Pacific time. So the markets have just opened and the spiders are up 78 cents. And you can see here that these are my positions and these are going to expire later on July 18. So my short options The 194 put is trading between 3 and 4 cents 
And what I usually do is I will buy back those options, especially when it's this close and there is a lot of volatility and uncertainty in the marketplace. I want to remove the risk of those five naked options. And then I'm going to leave five of the long options open and I will leave five of the short options open. So what I have left over is a long debit put spread and that will become profitable if the spiders decided to go down later that day. So here's what I am going to do and this is exactly what I did in real life on July 18th. Submit a buy to close order. Okay, so this is how you do it. Click on this blue dot, create closing order, buy to close. Now the default is 10 contracts. I don't want to buy back all 10. I just want to buy back five because there are five of these that are naked. The other five are covered by the long put. So there's no need for me to waste money buying back the extra five puts. So I'm going to switch this to five to close. Buy to close at four cents limit. That's the market price. Confirm and send. So I'll be spending $20 for the trade. And there it just filled. And so what it, you can see now is I've got five left over. I have five long puts and five short puts. So what I have remaining is a long debit put spread that will be worth one dollar if the spiders goes down towards 194 at the end of this date, July 18th expiration. So what I need to do is for the remaining of the trading session is I need to keep an eye on this and see if I can sell this and make some money. Right now the 195 put I can sell to close it and get about seven cents. I've got five contracts. So I can sell this and recover thirty-five dollars. And I can leave the short one open. Now the risk is obviously if I buy to close my 195 long put and leave the 194 short puts open, the risk is that if the spiders do go down later this day, I may end up getting assigned on the short puts. Okay, so that's something you need to think about on expiration Friday especially when things are this close and there's a lot of uncertainty in the marketplace. Okay, so I'll show you how to close this debit put spread here. I'm going to click on this blue dot there and I'm going to hold down my control key and click on that as well. So that closing order and now I'm selling to close the vertical spread. Okay. So let's take a look at this and analyze it. Sell to close. Right now, closing out the entire debit put spread will give me a credit of about four cents times five contracts, that's about twenty dollars. Minus ten dollars in commissions, it's a net credit of ten dollars. 
So I could certainly do that if I wanted to and just be done with it. However, the other thing I could do is simply to just leave it open and see what happens later in the day. That means, of course, if the spiders do not go down later on July 18th, then I'm basically sacrificing my credit here. So there's no right or wrong answer. It really depends on what you want to do. You can close it now and just take your $10 net and be done with it. Or you can leave it open and see what happens. It is now about 6.50 a.m. Pacific Time, July 18th, Expiration Friday. And as you can see, the spiders actually has gone down in the last 20 minutes or so. And my long put is trading around 9 or 10 cents. Okay, so there's still many, many hours remaining in the trading session. So if you really believe that the spiders could go lower, you leave this long put open, the long spread, and try to get as much money out of it as you can. On the other hand, if you do not believe that the spiders are going to go down, then it makes sense to simply sell to close your long put right now and recover 45 to $50. Right now, the long put still has some value remaining. But as we get closer and closer to the closing bell, and the spider stays at this price, the 195 put will get closer and closer to zero. So uh, let's uh, fast forward and see what happens. It is now almost 11 a.m. Pacific Time. There are two hours remaining in the trading session and it looks like the spiders have uh, reversed and gone back up. And as you can see here, my 195 long put has dropped from 10 cents down to 1 cent. So basically, it looks like both of these puts, the 195 and the 194, are going to expire worthless today. So what I actually ended up doing in my real trade is I sacrificed the $50 profit here because I kind of had a feeling the spiders may go down. There was a lot of volatility on July 18, and I decided to just hang on and see what happens. So basically, it was a sacrifice. I did not close it earlier in the morning when it was uh, when it was trading at 10 cents. So basically, I sacrificed fifty dollars for the potential to make another five hundred. So. There's no right or wrong answer in uh, this decision. Uh, when you're trading options, you do need to decide what to do. If you're willing to sacrifice the $50 for the potential of making 500 well, then uh, uh, you need to be at peace with that. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to see you have regrets. 
in my case, I thought about it long and hard, and I decided, you know what, uh, it's okay with me to sacrifice the $50. And so, at the end of today, July 18, the spiders did indeed close higher, and both of my puts expired worthless. So let's jump over and take a look at the math. Let's review the entire trade. The initial trade on the spiders was placed on June 24. Buy to open 5, sell to open 10. My initial net credit was 92 cents times 5 contracts. I received a credit of $460. On July 18th expiration, I decided to buy back five of the short puts to remove the risk. And I bought them at four cents early that morning. So here's the math. My initial credit on the entire spread was 92 cents. I spent four cents to buy back five of the short puts. My ending net credit was 88 cents times five contracts times 100. It's a gross profit of $460. After all the fees and commissions, my net profit was 421.24. So basically what happened um, on expression Friday was the spiders closed higher. It closed above 195 and so my entire spread expired and I simply got to keep my initial credit. 421. If the spiders had gone down on July 18th, I could have sold my debit put spread and received another $1 times 5 contracts. That's another $500. So if the spiders had gone down, I would have received an additional $500. So my total profit could have been $921, but that was not the case. The spiders went up instead, but I still made money. And so overall this trade was successful. This concludes our lesson for today, and I thank you for watching.